So I just got to Six Flags Magic Mountain, and today I'm going to attempt to ride every single thrill ride in alphabetical order. It seems like objectively a terrible idea, starting with Apocalypse and ending with X2. Considering X2 goes down for technical issues a lot, it's definitely wise to go there first. This is not a recommendation for what to do if you go to Six Flags. I just thought it'd be a fun challenge. So let's see if we can do it. So an extra challenge to this challenge. Oh, there's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman waved at me, but I was not reporting. Cool. <laughs> Another challenge to this challenge is that it is spring break. So there's a lot of teens and pre-teens running around. It's gonna make this challenge even tougher than it already is. But Apocalypse is over on the far end of the park. So we're actually going to take a little trolley thing called the Magic Mover that takes you up to the back of the park. or not. They're not open yet, so we are walking. This is only my fourth time to Six Flags Magic Mountain, so I'm not like a pro. I'm still figuring out the park and everything, and this is actually my first time on Apocalypse, and I honestly, I don't know the best ways, like the fastest ways to get around either. So I'm just walking, and we'll figure it out. <laughs> this is the flash pass entrance so I didn't go there I went there which is definitely the exit <laughs> so that's just everyone entrance but also flash pass entrance so yeah okay I really liked that one. Oh my god that was so much fun it was super fast I love riding roller coasters I've never ridden before so I had no idea what was gonna happen next which was always fun. No line at all. I mean, it took me a while because I didn't know where I was going. Great way to start the day, woo! Now, I should be going on West Coast Racers because it's right here and it's super fun. But no, we're going to Batman, which is in a different corner of the park. So I have gone on the Batman ride before and I remember just thinking it was kind of meh. My friend Katrina, who I went with, she liked it a lot more than I did. So we'll see if I like it better this time. ride for sure. I think my main sort of issue is just that it's pretty short and it's not super scary but it is enjoyable. I think I remember last time my head being knocked around a little bit but this time it was fine. It does feel like you're flying which is cool. It was fun. It was a walk-on which is amazing. I remember last time we definitely waited quite a while. That was great. I got front row and can I just say how much I love when every grown adult sits on a coaster where your feet are dangling, immediately swings your feet back and forth. 
me and the guy in the front row started doing it right away. But he was completely silent on the ride, so I felt like a little self-conscious about screaming, and I scream very loud on roller coasters. And so I like screamed a little bit, and he was just like completely silent. There was like not very many people on the coaster. Everyone was quiet, so I just didn't scream. But also, it, I didn't feel a need to scream on Batman, on a lot of other rides, like I'm not. I can't help it, because I'm terrified. But that one, didn't really feel the need to scream, but like, it felt a little weird to ride a coaster in complete silence. <laughs> it was a bit odd. I was just like, woo! <laughs> On to crazanity. I've ridden rides like that at other parks, so it wasn't anything like new to me. It is fun because you get a nice view. Although the seat that I was in this time it was actually pretty cool. I was facing like pretty much straight down the entire time, so that was cool to like look straight down from so high up. Normally, I feel like I'm pointing up, looking at the sky. I don't know why I don't find it like super scary. It kind of makes my stomach flip a little bit at the start, but then after that, you kind of just get into the swing of things and. It's just kind of nice. It's like a bit relaxing. It's cool though. So technically the next one is Dive Devil, but you have to pay extra for that and we're not doing that. We're just doing ones that are included with the season's pass. We're making our way over to Full Throttle, which I actually haven't been on that one either. Last time I was here, it was down and I feel like it also goes down for technical difficulties a lot. So we're walking over now and I'm excited to try it. And I feel like it also goes down for technical difficulties a lot. But this time we recommend you remain in line. May I have your attention please? We are experiencing a delay. Horatio okay, we're experiencing an extended delay. At this time we highly recommend you visit other attractions in the park. I waited 45 minutes and it went down twice. For the first one, they said, it's recommended you stay in line and there's, you know, this should be fixed shortly. Then it went down again, and then they said, you know what? We don't know how long this is gonna take. just less than an hour to get on Goliath. And when I got up to the top where you, you can choose what row to go in, I just took whatever was the shortest line because I was tired of waiting and I was super hungry. So I went into the shortest line, which was the very back row. It was fun for sure, but like when you're in the very back row, you just can't see what's coming up next. And so it's just like not as scary when you don't know what's about to happen. It just happens. I definitely would try it again in the very front row, which had the biggest line. Overall, it was fun. Rides where there's only a lap bar definitely stressed me out. I was holding on pretty tight. I was sitting behind a girl with really long hair and a really tall guy, and I didn't know which was worse. I chose to sit next to the really tall guy because I've had that before where I was sitting behind a girl with really long hair and it just kept whipping me in the face the whole time and it was not fun. It was definitely fun overall. I think I was a bit like hangry and tired. So maybe that's coloring a bit of my impression of it. But I'm curious what you would choose. Would you sit behind a girl with long hair or a really tall guy? 
now it's time to eat. <laughs> Full throttle is back up. That's the word on the street. So we're gonna go back, try it again, see if we can get it on this freaking thing. Also, can someone please explain to me why Lex Luthor's Drop of Doom is not on the Thrill Rides list in the Six Flags app? It says the Thrill level is max and it's not listed as a Thrill Ride in the app. So I almost forgot it. I wasn't gonna do it because it wasn't on the list when I filtered by Thrill Ride. But after full throttle, we're gonna do that. That was super cool. Definitely worth going back to. There's a little surprise on that ride I didn't know about. I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't gone on it yet. Very, very fun <laughs> and different. It's like you go around the inside of the loop and then you also go on the outside and down over top of the loop. Very cool. <laughs> okay, we're on our way to Lex Luthor's Drop of Doom. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not looking promising that this is actually gonna happen. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through all the rides in alphabetical order today. Still gonna try my absolute best, but I've done five rides in like six hours. Also, you know, a bit of time for lunch. There's 11 rides left and we're zigzagging all over the park. Gonna try our best, but just letting you know, it might not happen, but we'll see how it goes. ride is definitely higher than it looks. We just kept going up and up and up. Beautiful view, but that was pretty scary. <laughs> oh, that was really, really high. The drop wasn't like that scary, but it was just being up so high and just sitting there waiting to be dropped. Moving on to Ninja, another new one. I haven't been on Ninja before, so let's go. That was not worth an hour and a half wait. It was fun. It was fun. Only one train was working and there was a flash past people taking up all the spots. So it took forever. I was like, you know what? I waited this long. I'm gonna wait for front row. I didn't do it for Goliath and I regretted it. So I was waiting and there was this really sweet family and two of them were behind me and then two of them were next to me. And I very kindly offered to behind them so they could all ride together <laughs> and I was like whatever I'll just wait another seven minutes because I timed it that's how long it took them to unload ride the ride and load again but then I saw there was another single rider a few rows back and I was just like hey can I just sit there just so I can ride this ride and move on from this and so they said yes, and so I sat there, and so I wasn't even in the front row. I should have just gone in the shortest line and just been done with it, my goodness. <gasps> it's fine, everything's great. So we're on our way now to the Riddler, even though in the Six Flags app, they have it scream and then Riddler because it's the Riddler, so I guess T for the, but I'm not counting prepositions in this challenge. So we're going to the Riddler, which I'm really excited about because that's another one I haven't ridden before. It was closed last time I was here. Very excited to ride that. We have less than two hours left until the park closes and seven or eight rides left unless if Wonder Woman opens up again. Right now it's down. One thing I remember too is that I do have a skip the line pass with my seasons pass. And I honestly thought about using it for Ninja, but I was like, I really don't want to use that for Ninja. <laughs> I probably should have. Thinking I might use it for X2 tonight. If there's some miracle that I'm able to ride all the rides, I can finish with using my skip the line pass at X2. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go to the Riddler and see how long that takes.
well. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> That was a standing roller coaster, and I don't think I like standing roller coasters, especially that one. Oh my goodness. That was super uncomfortable. It's like riding right up in your crotch and then also banging your head around. I was not a fan of that one. I know that a lot of people don't like the coaster Viper here because it's pretty rough. I thought that was 10 times worse. I did not like that one. Oh. Well, we're gonna try to rise scream now, making my way over there. I was in the front row, there was like no one there, it was a walk-on, so that's great. It's a fun ride, it's long. I find it does kind of bang my head around a little bit, but it's not terrible. There's some pretty good drops and loops, and it's just, it's not my, my favorite, but it's fun. It's fun to be in the front row, for sure. It's officially eight o'clock, and that is the absurdly early time that this park closes. I could easily ride more rides for another two to four hours, easily. I tried my best. I tried my best. I made it to nine rides. Pretty good for a spring break day and zigzagging around the park, but they are closing. And I'm realizing I probably should have done this challenge on a night where they stay open for fright nights or like, I think that's what it's called. And I guess I get access to that as a season's pass holder. I really should have looked closer at my season's pass benefits. I'm assuming the rides are still open. I could have possibly completed the challenge. But it was fun. I hope you had fun coming along with me today. It was cool to go on rides I normally wouldn't prioritize. I mean, a lot of them was my first time going on them, so I'm glad I got to try them. None of them have entered my top five, though. Let me show you the rides in alphabetical order that we did today. And now let me show you my ranking of favorite to least favorite. Here you go. Let me know what you think. This is obviously my opinion. It's gonna differ from each person to each person, but that's my list. Now, one of the reasons I did this challenge was because I'm gonna be in the LA area for like a month. So I got a season's pass to Six Flags, so I'm gonna be here a lot. So I didn't mind riding rides that I wouldn't normally prioritize because I'm gonna be here a lot. I'm gonna go on my favorites, which are X2, Twisted Colossus, West Coast Racers, and Wonder Woman. Pretty much gonna go on those over and over and over. <laughs> gonna make the long walk back now to the parking lot. I hope you had fun following along. If you look at the, my other videos, you're gonna be like, what is this? <laughs> it's so random. So I'm a board game designer. And on this channel, I talk mostly about board game design. And the reason I play games and I make games is because they're fun. And so this is fun as well. So I thought it would make sense to put it on my channel. And I did post a poll to see what my subscribers thought about posting vlogs like this on my channel. And the majority said, yeah, post them on your main channel, like vlogs at theme parks and amusement parks and stuff like that. Because it's stuff that I enjoy and I thought you might enjoy it as well. Feel free to subscribe if you like this sort of thing and also maybe want to learn a bit about board game design. Let me know if you like this and I can do more vlogs the next time I'm at an amusement park or a theme park. I am gonna go find something to eat and I'm gonna go to bed. Take care, see you in the next one. Bye!